Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say your customary blessings. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, our, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence to enlighten you may be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. <coughs> Today's read is Luke 4, 16 through 30. And this is the fourth read of Maquettes. <coughs> Come on. Oh, I don't do it. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my computer is being slow today. Luke four sixteen through 30 <clears throat> And he came to Nazareth. And when he had been brought up, and as was his custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me, to proclaim good news to the poor. <clears throat> He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of the sight of the blind, to set to liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him, and he began to say, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke well of him and marveled at the gracious words that were coming from his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said to them, Doubtless, you will quit. You will quote to me this proverb, Physician, heal yourself. <coughs> what we have heard you did at Capernaum, do you do here in your hometown as well? And he said, Truly, I say to you, no prophet is accountable, no prophet is acceptable in his hometown. But in truth, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and a great famine came over all the land. And Elijah was sent to none of them, but only to Zarephath, in the land of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When they heard these things, and all in the synagogues were filled with wrath, and those rose up and drove him out of the town and brought him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so they could throw him down the cliff. But passing through their midst, he went away. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling well today.
And blessed art thou, o Lord, our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah.